This is former professional ski jumper and time trialling star Primus Roglic's Bianchi Ultra XR4. Underneath the saddle, they've written on the weight, it weighs in at 108 grams, only 108 grams, and it's a Selly San Marco Super Leggera saddle. It's got carbon fiber rails and a carbon fiber body. And if you look at the saddle, one thing you can't help but notice is that the Durace Di2 junction box is actually zip tied to one of the saddle rails. So the Durace wires come up out of the seat post and here it is, zip tied right there. I've literally never seen that before on a pro bike until now. The seat post on the bike is Bianchi, so that's part of the frame set. He's got an FSA OS99 stem, an FSA Extra Light handlebars, and they are the new ergo ergonomic shape. Bar tape is also FSA, and that is the Bianchi Signature Celeste color. Also in the Bianchi Signature Celeste color are the bar end caps. It's a very cool little finishing touch. Braking and shifting on this bike is provided by Shimano. It is the latest, the new version of Shimano's Jura Ace Di2. He's got a couple of satellite sprint shifters there too. They are very, very close to the brake levers just nestled in on the drops. The shifters are connected up to a Shimano Dura-Ace Di2 front mech and a Shimano Dura-Ace Di2 rear mech. And the brakes are Shimano Dura-Ace, their direct mount front and rear. The chain set on this bike is also the new Shimano Dura-Ace and that has a Pioneer power meter. The Pioneer power meter is dual sided so it gives Roglic feedback on measurements such as left leg power versus right leg power. A load of interesting data like that. Pedals, they're Dura Ace also. The chain rings are Dura Ace, they're 5339. The chain is Dura Ace, and the cassette, that's Dura Ace too, and that is an 11 through to 28. In keeping with keeping this bike as light as possible, Roglic has gone for Shimano Dura Ace C40 wheels. So they strike a perfect balance, arguably, between lightweight and aerodynamics. The tires that are glued to those wheels, they're tubular tires, are Vittoria Corsas, and they come in at 25 millimeters, according to the stamp on the sidewall. Bottle cages on the bike are provided by Tax, and because this bike is meant to be as light as possible, there are a load of to me, and hopefully to you, absolutely fascinating little details. I've already mentioned the Dura Ace junction box up there. I've already mentioned the fact that the weight of the saddle, because weight is such a priority on this machine, is actually written on the underside of it. The bottle cages are lighter than the ones that the team would normally use. The handlebars are extra light. And then, well, there are a couple of things that add weight too. So just on the chainstay here, that looks like helicopter tape, which is designed to prevent the chainstay from chipping if there's any chain slap or anything like that. And because the bike is Dura Ace Di2 and not mechanical, there are actually a few surplus cable entry and exit points, which the mechanics have taped up using black insulating tape just to stop any water or dirt getting in there. With all that covered, it's time for some vital statistics, and I need to run over to my bag and get everything for that. Starting the measurements from the very bottom of the bike, Roglic's cranks are 170 millimetres long, and his saddle height comes in at around 71 centimetres. The reach from the nose of his saddle to the centre of the stem comes in at 54 centimetres, and his bars are 42 centimetres wide, and the stem is a 12 centimetre stem. The tyres, although they're marked up as 25s, come in, according to our calipers, at about 24 millimetres wide. The weight of the bike, as we promised, it is super light because there has been so much effort and thought given to just how to save weight on the bike. I actually imagine they probably weighed this one down to make sure it meets the UCI's 6.8 kilogram weight limit. The weight is 7.1 kilograms. That's a little bit louder than I'm used to for a Dura C40. I like loud free hubs. I've really enjoyed looking at Primoz Roglic's ultralight Bianchi Ultra XR4 bike that he's going to use in the mountains at this year's Tour de France. I hope you have too. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share it too. To subscribe to GCN, all you need to do is click on our logo, which is on screen right now. Maybe it's here. There's also a link to our shop on screen. That'll be about here. And to see all of our videos from the 2017 Tour de France, click there. And to see another pro bike from a random race, click there.